Good morning, everybody. Um, Gloria Patrick Arnold, Chairman of the National Carnival Commission. Yeah, well, I started in Carnival from a very young age. Uh, in fact, I was going to elementary school in Scarborough. And uh, I got involved with the PAN. Uh, there was a, a band not too far from where I lived. And eventually, I joined them. I was still going to school. And then eventually I formed my own band, which is the All Boys Steel Orchestra. That was about 1950. Uh, when I was in Trinidad, uh, I used to follow the bands here. I would go to they had Cats and Jammers on Repeat Avenue, and there was Invaders, and then Woodbrook. And I could remember if, if there's a, holiday, a half day for cricket, I would end up in the Venus yard. I would be in the oval. Sunday would be Ellie Manette and Kubo Jack and all those top guys in the yard. In fact, in Venus yard, never closed. It's all day. So we'd have children going on in the morning and bands, guys in the corner practicing and things like that. And so I looked at all, what the, look at the, the tuning aspect of it. Because Ellie Manette was the, the top tuner in the land. And, so I looked on, and one of the guys asked me, well, why you don't practice the tune? I thought he was joking, I just didn't take him on. But when I went back to Tobago, after, after St. Mary's, then the band, I was with the band again, our boys. And we had to send to Trinidad for bands all the time, so I decided to practice the tune. And having looked at the guys, I knew what I had to do. I ended up a tuner, tuning for eight bands in Tobago and so on. When I first saw it, that's why I thought I would never be a tuner, because in those days they will cut the, the size. If it's a tenor pan, they will cut it off at that size, and then they will put it on the ground and they will sink it with a hammer or carry, take it down. And it sits on the ground in the dirt and the pan goes down in the dirt and things like that as, as the song look, looked a little crazy to me but <laughs> that's how they, how they made them but eventually when it when i started the tune at that time we we did it from the, the whole drum so we'd sing the drum when it was still on and when we had finished making the pan which was sinking and marking it out and, and grooving the notes what we call grooving Groving will be separated in us with a punch and a hammer. You know, the C separated from the, you know. And, uh, but we did it on the drum and when I started. Uh, well, you know, I received the Second Hands Award sometime this year, the government, for my contribution to the culture. As you know, when I came back, in fact, I didn't, keep, I didn't come to stay. And I was supposed to leave to go back uh, like Boxing Day that, that year, and uh, somehow the guys in Pantry Bago decided that they want me to be president. And I thought they were crazy, but they pulled it off and I became the president of Pantry Bago for 13 years. And so developed um, that type of... And people got to, get, got to know me. And, um, I think the award came because of my service to the culture in that way. Uh, I took my band to San Francisco. In fact, they're still there. A good many of them are still there. The original, the younger players, they didn't come back. They, they played all over state fairs, and went to Africa, and Houston, Texas. So they, they're a carnival there. And, um, San Francisco, Los Angeles, all those carnivals we played at. And then I went, as soon as I came back, I ended up in Pantry Bigo for 13 years. And all those things contributed maybe to them getting me involved in the. In, and in fact, the stint at Pantry Bigo was like 13 years, so everybody got to know. And some of the things that I did there. Carnival is kind of there. There are really no major changes this year. It couldn't have been 
if uh, that I could implement because, I, as I said before, when I came in, everything was more or less in place. You see, the board is an all year thing, it's not just a carnival thing. And when some men I talk to them, I say, But we are here all year and we should be making plans earlier, not the last minute, because it's, a, it's about functions all year. So, very early, I told them we'll go into a retreat or something like that. And, be with the, some of the issues that need to be there. There will be some changes. I think um, we need, especially with the the mass, we need to develop an industry. You know, we just we we tell ourselves that we are the, the mother, but you know, the only mother made children, and we have made a lot of children outside of the world. In fact, in England and up, I don't know how many carnivals. Mm -hmm. Not nothing hell alone, they have over 13 or more carnival. Then there's America, there's all over their carnival. So we have to be careful. We still import things from China. You know, in the good old days, we made our costume and we made the bent wire and, and we made the costume. And now we just import. And we could have a big industry here. We have given them even the pan. Mm -hmm. But we're not even treating the pan the way it should be treated because out there, they, they are pan in the schools. The pan is pan all over. I mean, I made a living like that. You know, in California, I tuned for the universities out there. And uh, they, they are uh, on the board, on the ball. There's a band in a school in Phoenix, Arizona, that the guy told me everybody has to learn to play. And out of that, there's a band in the, the music department. And they would learn, he said, there's nothing like a child standing on a stage and getting applause, and the self-esteem. And so they, they know what they what they have, and it's the illustrated that instrument. And they play, and they go around to the different schools, and they, they play, they make tapes, they sell, they make money to maintain the same music department. And so we, we're not really treating the whole thing with the way we, how we need to do that. We don't even have a pan industry. You know, we don't even so have can a we look forward to the development of a pan industry in 2013? I have already talk, spoke to the Prime Minister and who would listen about the, the headquarters, so-called headquarters that's on the highway there as an ISO. Mm -hmm. you know, um, I was there, it started. We got some money from the O'Halloran settlement that from Robinson's time. And we got the land from the Prime Minister, uh, Pandey, 30, uh, 11 acres. And um, Xander drew the, the plans and so on. And we started with a guy in Nambi Construction. And he died. And then we ran into some problems there. But the, we had two local contractors who gave us a cost of 5.5 to complete it. And uh, the minister at the time, June Williams, she had no problem. But somehow it was taken from them and given to Unicorn. Mm -hmm. And that's where the problem lies up to this day. Because their bill was like 20 million. And uh, they had the ch Chinese there living in a, they had a container, they living on the land. They started to do some work, and then there came the summit, and they were taken away to the old airport to do some work there. They still lived at the, the site, but the no work continued. And even when the summit was finished, they came up to Napa. And that's how I just stayed there until now. That was way back way. Last week, I met with the TDC, the Tourism Development Company with a view to really dealing with the, the tourists that come, come into the country. Now, one of the areas that, even when I was in Panchin Bay, where they complain about, in fact, I, you know, they came to my office. At least one guy from Nova Scotia, and he was saying, uh, Mr. Anna, when we come here, and we go around to the Panyards, we just hear a man practicing on and on. We don't hear a tune, we don't hear anything. You know, they treat the Panyard maybe like the Caribs Hotel, so they go around, but 
the bands concentrate too much on this one song for the panorama and I think that's not a good tourist attraction. We, we, the bands are capable of, of more than that. They are capable of playing anything from classics, whatever. But those people coming to the country don't know that. And so I've decided on Thursday, we put on a show and we have contacted, have contacted TDC. And they, are, they have gotten on board. And so we put in on a show with Desperados and Skiffle Bunch at the village in the Savannah so that they could hear a different type of music, what we are capable of. Because you a uh, foreigner come in the trailer and you look, listen to Panorama, they does not even know the tune. Much less the arrangement that takes 10 minutes and so on. And so they need to hear what the band could do. Because if somebody wants to take a band abroad, you can't take a panorama band. 120 people and things like that. So that's one of the things that I've decided to put on this week. It was on behalf of the National Carnival Commission and the government of Trinidad and Tobago. I want to welcome all the foreigners, all the tourists to the country. And I hope and I know they will enjoy the festivities that will happen, especially from this week. When we have on Thursday night, we'll have a concert for mostly for the visitors. We'll have world famous Desperados and uh, other world class bands, Skiffle Bunch from South, and we put on a show for them that they will that they will never they have never seen or heard like imagine. And um, then there's the panorama itself on Saturday with the big bands and the medium bands and Sunday as you know the March bra and then Monday and Tuesday they could jump to the, <laughs> the DJs I imagine because it, the pan is like being lost that's another area that we need to deal with you know on the, on the streets the pan can cope with the, the DJs and the trucks in fact I have asked the mayor on Monday morning the Jove that we used to have, I want to bring back the, the when we play the bomb, when we had the bomb competition where you would play a cal classic in Calypso. And I don't want I told him we don't want the trucks or the DJs on that route on Monday morning and he has agreed. So Monday morning you could go downtown and judge Jove morning and hear what we used to hear in the old days. And that's one of the new things for this year. And then, so, Monday will be, and then Tuesday, usual, Master of the Savannah, and the, just remember what the mayor says. <laughs>